What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com. Today's video is brought to you by Cell Cashier, and they compare iPhone prices to get you top dollar for your used iPhone. So if you'd like to sell your iPhone, check out the link in the description below. Today's video is uh, something I've been hearing a lot of people asking questions about, is people asking, since it's the same shape as the iPhone 6S and basically the same body, will it fit in cases for the 6S? Um, and so I have one case right here. Obviously, this is just one case. Not all cases are the same, but they are, are going to pretty have much have the same mold and everything like that. But, the, you know, the cuts and things like that of, of the bottom and different accessibility will be a little bit different. But I just want to give you an example of this. This is a, a Otterbox Universe case. This is an iPhone 7. And so one of the questions people have been asking, do, will they fit in iPhone 6S cases? So do I have to buy new cases if I'm getting the iPhone 7S? Well, really quickly, I just want to demonstrate something to you guys. Because the camera is so much larger in the iPhone 7, it's not going to line up with iPhone 6S uh, cases that have a cutaway for the camera. So as you can see right there, even the actual spot that it's located in, and because it's it's so much wider now, it's not going to fit in there very well. If I take pictures, that, that edge is going to show up in the picture there. Of course, with this case, it's not important with the ports because it's one big opening. So for that aspect, that's fine. You know, it doesn't matter that there's two speakers here, that there's no headphone jack or anything, because there's just one big cutaway. But the bigger issue is going to be the camera on the back, which is, I mean, if you're getting an iPhone 7, you're obviously one of the big things you're looking for is the, is the new camera that you want to enjoy and get some good pictures out of. That's not going to happen with these 6S cases. Everything else seems to line up. The, the mute switch, the headphone, the volume up and down buttons, the, the standby switch, all those things seem to work just fine. But the biggest issue and the, one of the most important issues, in my opinion, is going to be that uh, camera. Besides that, I don't think there's anything else that's being blocked off or being hindered by using a 6s case so if you don't care about the camera i guess you can still keep rocking your 6s cases on your 7 your iphone 7 it should be fine but uh, for me that's not acceptable so i will definitely be using some 7 iphone 7 cases i'm going to be having some iphone uh 7 case reviews on the channel actually otterbox sent me a bunch of their cases for the iphone 7 like four or five of their cases for the 7 and 7 plus so i'll be reviewing those very soon if you want to check out those reviews make sure you keep it locked on this channel subscribe so you can be alerted to whenever those come out I just want to do another quick shout out to our sponsor, sellcashier.com. They compare iPhone prices to get you top dollar for your used iPhone, so it's very easy, fast, and secure. You just go to their site, you get a quote, you ship your phone to them, and then you get paid. It's that simple. So sellcashier.com is the site. Their link is in the description. Anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Hopefully this was helpful to you, and I'll talk to you in the next video.